What's the difference between irritable bowel syndrome and functional dyspepsia? As an IBS girl myself, I'm glad that IBS has gotten a lot of attention, but functional dyspepsia tends to get left out even though they are basically sisters. IBS and functional dyspepsia are both GI disorders and they're functional gut disorders, meaning they impact the function of the gut. Both are characterized by changes in the gut microbiome and changes in gut brain communication, as well as that change in motility. Both may also be related to immune activation and there may be an immune side of even their cause. The main difference between IBS and functional dyspepsia is the location of symptoms and where this impact is happening. IBS primarily impacts the lower end of the GI tract, meaning the large intestine or colon. Functional dyspepsia impacts the starting earlier part of the GI tract, including the small intestine and maybe even some relationship to the stomach. When we're looking at both of these conditions, the symptoms may be similar, including abdominal pain, bloating, discomfort, but we may see some differences between them to help characterize what may be going on. With IBS, we typically will see changes in bowel patterns, meaning diarrhea, constipation, or a mix or alternating of both. With functional dyspepsia, we could see that change in bowel patterns, but we may also see more upper GI symptoms, including early satiety, stomach pain, and even symptoms more quickly after eating a meal because the food is coming in and impacting the upper part of the GI tract faster. The good news is that there is a lot of overlap in the strategies that we use for both IBS and functional dyspepsia. However, when it comes to medical treatment and even medication options, there will be some differences. Is this something that you already knew or is this new to you? Let me know in the comments.